everyone, Eric here with Home Farm Ideas. Wanted to uh, talk to you a little bit about uh, what I do here in Arizona for water conservation. Since we are a uh, very dry state, even up here in the mountains, um, try to conserve water as much as I can. Um, since most of my water is hauled in on that trailer right over there, about 95% of it, I have to go and get uh, on the weekends. I wanted to uh, do what I could to uh, conserve water for my garden and uh, plants and vegetables. Um, it started out when I lived down in Phoenix by putting this bucket underneath an air conditioner condenser. Um, I actually had uh, a yellow bucket like you see back there under the, the spout if you will and I would fill this bucket here. Uh, probably once or twice a day I would uh, dump five gallons or so into here and that was just the condensation off the, uh, the air conditioner. So I still use this can today. Um, I've got a couple of uh, five gallon buckets that I empty out the kids water from the bathtub at night. Don't use a lot of uh, harsh soaps or conditioners or shampoos or anything so um, don't have to worry too much about uh, contaminating the, the soil. Um, so I've, I've since moved to this system right here which is hooked into my guttering system. So I've got the gutters along the front of the house and then uh, I got this pipe which comes down. This is called the first flush system. So the uh, the water comes down. It fills up this tube first with the with the quote unquote dirty water, if you will, any of the the bird poo or whatever that washes off the roof. That'll fill this tube up. And once that's full, then the water will go and fill into the the water tank. Got about 2,800 gallons there in the water tank, so um, I can uh, refill my cistern or whatever. I've got a, a valve down here at the bottom, so I can hook a hose to it and take that out to the cistern. I've also got a spigot down here on the bottom of the first flush system so that um, after the end of the raining season or uh, if it starts to get kind of dry out and I want to kind of clean it out I can just op open up that spigot, fill up a bucket, water the garden. Um, since my system isn't exactly perfect, the uh, the guttering that I have up here is, uh, is used. It's from my neighbor who took his guttering down and uh, gave it to me. So I've got a couple of buckets along the, uh, the roof line there that catch water that drips out of the um, out of the imperfections in the guttering system, if you will. So uh, that's pretty much my uh, my water conservation here in Arizona. Um, one thing to note is that in some parts of the country, which is kind of silly, um, catching rainwater or harvesting rainwater is illegal. Uh, they they kind of frown upon it, and uh, I don't know why. It's uh, it's out there. It's it's um, it's probably a money thing, but uh, I won't get into too political on that. But um, that's how I collect rainwater here, and um, hope you enjoy the video, and uh, there'll be more to come. Thanks.